Yes, sir. Big Stewie checking in. You know what's going on. I'll just be here to talk some junk. You know what I mean? Do my thing. Swag high, swag, do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Kick it with the winners. The winner's circle. Got a got a special guest checking in. She got a lot of swag, you know. She has more passport stamps than half the rappers out there already. You know what I mean? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Go ahead and introduce yourself, young lady. Hey y'all. My name is Malie Zan. You already know. Malie's in the building. What's going on? Nothing much. I'm just happy to be here. Now, you got a different swag, a different style. Got an opportunity to check out your Instagram. I seen the gold grill. I was thinking hey. I was going to hear something other than what I heard. Ooh, then well. I, I pressed play. I was like, hey. <laughs> okay, what the? What, what is this? <laughs> what is this? It's kind of groove. What would okay. you call this type of music? Like, what, what would you call your style? I want to call my style ghetto house music. Ghetto house music. How did you come up with ghetto house music? And like, what? I mean, give me the process. Honestly, it really just blossoms through um, a lot of it had to do with how I grew up, going to a house in the park with my family. Okay, what's house um, in the park for those that don't know? It's basically a festival mm-hmm. um, in Atlanta, and they play house music every year, and it's in Grant Park, and people from everywhere just come Come into one place and listen to house music. And just vibe out. And it's 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 such a vibe. So did you think that this is I mean, what what made you be like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put some lyrics to this because I think like when I think of house music, I think of like just a lot of different acapellas that's chopped and break beats right. and stuff like that that's put mm-hmm. together and kind of a mashup. But you are actually taking the beats and actually doing your own lyrics to them. Mm-hmm. And 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 doing your your stutters yourself, okay? Right. You're doing the repeat yourself. Exactly. So how did you like? What made you come in there? Like, yo, this is what style I'm gonna go with. This this is how I'm gonna develop this music. Like, this is what I'm doing. It's really just like like I said, like growing up, knowing that this was the type of vibe that I always mm. wanted to kind of get into, and wanting not wanting to be boxed into doing like one type of sound. Um, like R and B or like rap or just one type of sound. I wanted to make it more personal to myself, mm. and I just wanted to make pu- music that makes people dance. Okay. Um, ultimately, just because I've had a lot of experience uh, traveling the world, I know that everybody be dancing everywhere, and I just feel like people in Atlanta like they need to get it together. Mm. Come on, we talk, man. To, we don't need to be in the in the lounges. We don't need to be in the sections. We need to be on the dance floor and having fun. So this was crazy because in the world that we live in, I think it's so easy to just do the the city girls, that type of music, you know right. what I'm saying? With your sex. I mean, with the industries filled with like sexy reds and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but you come in with a different style, but you can still yeah. relate to those people and because of the lyrics you're talking about. Right, exactly. So, so do you did you ever feel like I mean, I guess traveling the world, you're kind of different because you get to see everywhere. So it's like you're not mm-hmm. just stuck in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. But how did you feel about people like in Atlanta that you grew up with, like if they understood your music or, not, or, or do you keep your circle real tight? How did it work? I keep my circle very tight. Um, but obviously it matters to me, like how people respond to my music. But I think overall, like since I did my first Four Shooters video, um, based off of that, so many people just had so much love and support mm. um, organically towards the sound and um, even towards my second single that I just put out. Work. work. <laughs> I know about it. I know about it. I'm here. <laughs> um, they love it too. And I think that there's definitely a place for people who enjoy um, rap music mm. and house music as well and just dance music in general and I think the idea is just to make dance music black again mm. because it has been kind of overshadowed right. by, you know, you know. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Go ahead. I know. I get it. I get it. You know. So we just try to bring it back a little bit, bring it back to its roots. Um, but yeah. So what was the response for the sh- shooters? Because that's like pretty much like that gives me more like a, like a rap platform. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you come in her light skin. <laughs> bright as hell okay drake color drake color you know what i'm saying you're getting your drake Woo! on all right you got the goals in your mouth the braids in the back you know your green on it's like what is yellow girl about to talk about right now and you come in and just bopping so did you ever think in your mind like i don't know if this is gonna work like i don't know if they're gonna accept it like that because like i said it's a rap platform mm-hmm. so was you ever like nervous at all of course but you know it takes it takes one person to change Change the whole Come on platform. So I just stepped in. I had to be the one, you know. Now they, now everybody on there doing different stuff. Mm. You notice that? I see that. Okay. Period. Okay. Trendsetter. Wonder, wonder who started that. Trendsetter. But, you know, you the know, gag is. <laughs> the gag is. So. Um, but 
I mean, with this type of sound too, I feel like you can't really be you can't be afraid to step out of the box and you mm. can't be afraid to step into different demographics and different markets just because you never know. You might make somebody a fan who right. never knew that they even liked that type of music. So gag was the first thing. Like, what, what, what was you got? What did you have going on? And what was you doing when they was like, hey, yo, this song is actually doing good. Like, was it shocking that it's just like, I don't, you know, just went up through there a little bit. I mean, you could be humble, you know, <laughs> just went up there a little bit. I think I think I was like, oh, OK, like people are actually like rocking with me. Yeah, rocking with me. And it, it feels great because, I mean, I that's what we wanted. That's what I wanted. So it feels good for people to be understanding like what I'm trying to do and just riding the wave. Mm. So then after you wrote that wave, you came back with work and put that work in and wrote Period. the wave again. Period. So tell me, well, what made you go back? Repeat this. I guess it, just, it worked. So exactly. <laughs> like, why not? Let me give something else. This, it's just, it's just my process. It's just me and my team's process of how we make music. It doesn't really have anything to do with trying to match the sound of like the last one. We just go based off of like, okay, we want to make a dance record. We want to make it hot. It's going to be hot. Like what, what are we trying to say? Mm. And I think that's our process for all of the songs that we've done. Um, so yeah, it's just very organic, very fun. Um, the energy is always high in the in the studio sessions, and that's what we come up with. So, so where did you find this producer from? Because, like I said, the, the typical DJ, I mean, producers now they're not making beats like that. So, right. where did you find a producer who's like, you know what, I want to do house music? Honestly, it was really a gift because uh -huh. my mom, she was friends with uh, one of my producers, and then he was friends with my other producer. So I have two producers okay. that I work with and they had already been friends. So it's kind of easy. Just like, yeah. Okay. The, 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 the. It was a, it was God, it was God's timing. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Now you already look ghetto. <laughs> I seen you in Paris getting your bop on the boss Mandilo. Hey. The, well, I mean, what, what you listening to right now? What's in that? What's in that? What's in that? What's, what's in your playlist right now? Top three songs of playlist. What you listening to? In my playlist right now. New artist. Besides you. Okay. That's besides, besides you. Me. Okay. Um, Shaking It uh, by VK The Ruler and uh, Cash Cobain. Okay. Uh, for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. It's definitely in there. Um, what give me five. Else? Give me five. Give me five. Okay. I Don't Know That B Word by mm. Gunna. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, I Love. It's not a new song, but I don't think he's coming out with any new music anytime soon. He must Diamonds be in jail. By Young Thug. Okay, yeah, he in jail. We, we free yeah, Thug. He be at Jeffrey's coming home soon. <laughs> free Thug. Um. Uh, and get it with me by Boss Man D -Lo. Come on, man, Boss Man D -Lo. What you, you you was mugging on that thing, man? I don't think Boss Man D -Lo, He might do he, is he? Can he even go to Paris yet? He might not even have no passport. Listen, you, you might have showed him something. We gonna get him there. Okay, he gonna be on birthday best. Y'all make sure tune in. Coming from Savannah, Georgia, what was it like growing up? Like Savannah? Yeah, Savannah, growing Georgia. up in GA. Savannah was beautiful. I was running around the streets with no shoes on, very country chick. Willow um, trees. What are those them willow so, trees? Yeah, the oak trees with the, the, with the long gas leaves. I'm mm -hmm. like, what the hell is going on? These trees are raining out here. Mm -hmm. Climbing the trees, all of it. Come on now. But most of it was just me and my sister and my mom growing up together. Um, I grew up in like a very musically inclined home and family. Um, my mom's a singer songwriter and she was on making the band as well. Okay. So, what's um, that name so we can look that up? Chelsea Zan. Okay, making the band. Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. No Diddy. <laughs> no Diddy. <laughs> no more. No, no, no. But um yeah, um growing up in Savannah was really just it was my start and then I I grew up uh in Atlanta from the age of 9, so mm. I've been here for a minute. For a minute. So yeah. what would you tell some of the young girls out there, especially growing up in Atlanta understanding like the culture and the age, what would you tell some of the young girls out there just wanting to be different and trying wanting to try something new because i feel like everybody thinks they i don't want my thing is like this i don't want all i don't want my daughter feeling like she gotta you know I me mean, do the things that everybody else do i want her to be able to right. be free and and don't have that stigma on her so what would you mm -hmm. tell some of the young girls out there that just want to get in the music game about just being themselves mm -hmm. yeah it really is just about being yourself and not comparing yourself to anybody else because i feel like that's when you set yourself up for failure is when you try to compare yourself or you think that because this person is doing this, that made them successful, but everybody's journey is unique to their own. Come on now. So it, it, whatever calls you, just follow that and try to do it with no fear. 
um, because fear is the biggest thing that will hold you back from anything. But it's mainly all in your head. So just do it and live your life and have fun. There it is. Okay. Okay. And guess what? I heard you and Sexy Red label mates. Yep. Hopefully I might hear some ratchetness. Possibly hear some ratchetness. Possibly. Ooh, it's going down. Let them know how to follow you. Let them know your Instagram. Yes, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, um, and yeah, on uh, at Malie Zan. Malie Zan, <laughs> check it in, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you coming out, and congratulations on everything, even Timberland looking at you and everything. Yes. Oh, big things popping. Y'all are going to see me on stage with him, actually, on Saturday at Lovers and Friends. Oh, wow. So watch out for That's that. That's dope. That's like 50,000 people. Yeah. You ready for that? I am ready. Stop playing. Get in with me. Get in with me.